Imagine dusty roads, bustling marketplaces, and the scent of olives and spices in the air. This is Palestine in the first century CE, a land steeped in history and tradition. Under the Roman Empire's watchful eye, life bustled with a blend of cultures and customs. The Jewish people, deeply rooted in their faith, navigated this complex world with resilience and devotion. Their lives, like those of many around them, revolved around the land and its bounty. Agriculture was the backbone of their existence, shaping their diet and their connection to the divine. In a time before refrigeration and modern conveniences, fresh, locally sourced ingredients were paramount. The land provided a rich tapestry of flavors. Figs, dates, pomegranates, and grapes flourished under the Mediterranean sun. Wheat and barley, the cornerstones of their diet, were transformed into the staple food of the era bread. Sheep and goats grazed on the hillsides, providing milk, cheese, and meat for those who could afford it. Fish from the Sea of Galilee were a common source of protein, especially for those living near its shores. This simple yet essential cuisine formed the backdrop of Jesus' life and ministry. It was the food of his childhood, the sustenance he shared with his disciples, and the foundation of the feasts that marked religious celebrations. To understand Jesus, we must first understand the food he ate. It offers a window into his world, his culture, and the daily realities of life in first century Palestine. Imagine sitting at a humble wooden table, the aroma of freshly baked bread filling the air. You hear the lively chatter of family and friends as they gather for a meal. This is the scene we will explore, a culinary journey through time that brings us closer to the life and times of Jesus of Nazareth. Bread, often unleavened and baked in clay ovens, was the cornerstone of the Palestinian diet. It was more than just sustenance, it held deep religious significance, symbolizing God's provision and the connection between heaven and earth. Every meal began with a blessing over the bread, a moment of gratitude for the simple yet essential gift of life. This humble food made from the land's bounty nourished both body and soul. Beyond bread, the people of Jesus' time enjoyed a variety of fruits and vegetables. Olives, a staple of the Mediterranean diet, were enjoyed fresh, pressed into oil or preserved in brine. Figs, dates and pomegranates, symbols of abundance and fertility, were eaten fresh or dried and added sweetness to their meals. Lentils, beans and chickpeas provided protein and fiber, often cooked into hearty stews or ground into flour for bread making. Fish, especially those caught in the Sea of Galilee, were a common source of protein. Salted and dried fish, a method of preservation in the absence of refrigeration, were traded throughout the region. Meat, although less common than other protein sources, was enjoyed on special occasions, especially during religious festivals. Lamb and goat were the preferred choices, often roasted over an open fire or cooked in stews with vegetables and herbs. Jewish dietary laws known as kashrut played a significant role in shaping the culinary landscape of first century Palestine. These laws rooted in the Torah outlined a complex system of permitted and forbidden foods guiding the Jewish people in their relationship with God and the world around them. Observing these laws was an act of devotion, a way of sanctifying everyday life and acknowledging the divine presence in even the simplest of acts. One of the most well-known aspects of kashrut is the prohibition against eating pork and shellfish. These animals were considered unclean, and their consumption was strictly forbidden. Only certain animals, such as cows, sheep, goats, and certain birds, were deemed kosher, meaning fit for consumption. These animals had to be slaughtered according to specific rituals to ensure their purity and suitability for consumption. The separation of meat and dairy products was another fundamental principle of kashrut. Jews were forbidden from cooking or eating meat and dairy together, a practice reflected in the separate cooking utensils and serving dishes used in observant households. This separation extended beyond the physical act of eating, influencing the way food was prepared, stored, and even discussed. These laws, meticulously observed by devout Jews, served as a constant reminder of their faith and their commitment to living a life pleasing to God. Roman Flavors – The Influence of Empire on Palestinian Cuisine While Jewish dietary laws remained paramount, the Roman Empire's influence brought new flavors and culinary practices to Palestine. Trade routes connecting the far reaches of the empire introduced exotic spices and ingredients to the region. Roman culinary traditions, known for their extravagance and opulence, gradually seeped into Palestinian cuisine, particularly among the wealthier classes. 
wine, a symbol of Roman culture and celebration, became increasingly popular in Palestine. Vineyards flourished in the region, producing a variety of wines that were enjoyed by both Jews and Romans. Wine played a significant role in religious rituals, particularly during Passover, where it symbolized redemption and freedom. The Romans also introduced new methods of food preparation, such as elaborate sauces and intricate pastries, which added a touch of sophistication to Palestinian cuisine. The Roman Empire's impact on Palestinian foodways was a testament to the interconnectedness of the ancient world. Culinary traditions like ideas and beliefs traveled along trade routes, blending and evolving as they encountered new cultures. The food of first-century Palestine, a fusion of Jewish tradition and Roman influence, reflected the complex realities of life under imperial rule. Feasting with friends, celebrations, and sacred meals. Food played a central role in Jewish celebrations and religious observances. Feasts, marking significant events in the Jewish calendar, were times of joy, community, and spiritual connection. These gatherings, often held in homes or synagogues, brought people together to share food, stories, and the warmth of fellowship. Passover, one of the most important Jewish festivals, commemorated the Israelites' liberation from slavery in Egypt. The Seder, a ritual meal at the heart of Passover, involved specific foods and symbolic acts that reenacted the Exodus story. Unleavened bread, bitter herbs, and a mixture of fruit and nuts, each with its own symbolic meaning, were consumed during the Seder, reminding participants of the hardships endured and the ultimate triumph of faith. Weddings, births, and other life cycle events were also marked by festive meals. Food, shared in celebration, strengthened social bonds and reinforced the importance of community. These gatherings provided opportunities for laughter, storytelling, and the creation of lasting memories. Food for thought understanding Jesus' world through his cuisine. The food of Jesus' time offers a tangible link to his world, providing insights into his daily life, cultural context, and the social dynamics of first-century Palestine. By exploring the culinary landscape of his era, we gain a deeper appreciation for the sights, smells, and tastes that shaped his experiences. Imagine Jesus sharing a simple meal of bread and fish with his disciples by the Sea of Galilee. Picture him attending a Passover Seder, reciting the ancient blessings and partaking in the symbolic foods. Envision him enjoying a festive meal with friends and family, laughter and conversation filling the air. These scenes, though simple, offer a glimpse into the human side of Jesus, reminding us that he lived, ate, and celebrated like anyone else in his time. Understanding the food he ate allows us to connect with him on a personal level, transcending time and cultural barriers. It reminds us that despite the centuries that separate us, we share a common humanity, a bond that is strengthened by the universal experience of sharing food and fellowship.